And out of the final frontier, and people around the world will have their eyes to the skies tonight for two rare celestial events, one of which we have here in South Florida, and we can enjoy it. CBS 4 said Scout reports from Frost Planetarium with some tips to help you look up in the sky and enjoy. We have the sky the way it's going to look like tonight at 10 p.m. You won't have to be in a planetarium to see the celestial show tonight. Mars will be brighter and bigger to the naked eye. If you look southeast, you will be seeing the moon, and that bright spot next to the moon is actually Mars. So if you want to see Mars, just look towards the moon and a little bit off down, and you'll see the beautiful sight of Mars tonight. Dr. Jorge Perez Gallego from the Frost Planetarium explains the red planet, Earth's closest neighbor, is going to be closer than it's been in years, giving us a great show. The average distance between Mars and Earth is about 140 uh, million miles. Uh, it's going to be a little under 40 million miles to Earth. Uh, tonight. Our galactic neighbor is getting a lot of attention lately after the recent discovery of water on the planet. If you use a telescope, you can get an even better view. Either way, it shouldn't be hard to miss moving from the southeastern sky to the southwestern. It's definitely brighter than usual, like way brighter than usual, and it's going to be a slightly reddish, just like a, a notch of reddish on it. And that's not the only show in the heavens tonight. There's also a total lunar eclipse, the longest of the 21st century, lasting an hour and 43 minutes. Unfortunately, we won't see it on this side of the world. The people that are like in uh, East Europe, uh, Middle East, they're going to enjoy this like really uh, dark blood reddish moon as the eclipse takes part. If you find that clouds are getting in your way when you're trying to view Mars, not to worry, it goes on for a while. As a matter of fact, peak viewing is set for July 31st at 4 in the morning. In Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.